So, uh, so what we're going to talk about today is the reshaped balloon, and uh, it's a non-surgical weight loss procedure. Uh, we place a uh, balloon, a dual balloon, uh, into the stomach, uh, and it takes up space and it helps the patients lose weight more than they could do on their own with a diet and exercise program. The limitation of the balloon, of course, is that the FDA only approved it for six months, and it has to do with the, I believe, has to do with the balloon failure rate. At some point, it's a it's a plastic device. It's in a hostile environment with acid and, and the stomach always moving. So it, it sooner or later, it's gonna it's gonna break down and burst. So uh, they they okayed it for six months, and that's based on the original studies looking at at six months of of having it in place. But uh, what we're doing is we're partnering with Reshape, and we're offering a one-year program where around the placement of the balloon, we want to help the patient reset how they think uh, and take care of their own eating uh, and their exercise level and the other factors that are important for keeping the weight off once the balloon comes out. So we want to help put the patient in a place where they're going to be successful uh, after the balloon is removed. And the weight loss has been shown to be effective uh, with the reshape, uh, more than twice as effective as, as diet and exercise alone. So, um, like I said, the balloon's a dual balloon. Uh, it's temporary implanted, uh, and it occupies space to create a sensation of satiety. So you feel full with the balloon. If you eat a little bit of food, you should feel very full and be able to stop. Uh, and that's effective in portion control, very effective. Uh, there is a competitor balloon out there right now, um, and we looked at both, and uh, I've decided to go with the reshape uh, for a couple of reasons. It is a little more expensive <clears throat> than the uh, competitor, but uh, the, having the two balloons together uh, means that it can actually take up more space within the stomach in the same sort of shape that the stomach is. So instead of having one big balloon where you would keep increasing the diameter, which could be uncomfortable and cause vomiting or plugging. The, the two balloons in sequence <clears throat> don't tend to, to create those problems. It tends to be more comfortable. Uh, there is a lower uh, removal rate because of intolerance with this balloon than, than the competitor. And we can actually take up more space, usually 900 cc's uh, in, a, in a, a taller person versus 650 cc's with the other balloon. Also, uh, if a balloon deflates, it can make its way out of the stomach and get into the intestine. That can be a big problem. So that's always been sort of the, the scariest complication that can happen with the balloons um, in the past. And that's almost impossible with the dual balloon design because both balloons are not going to fail at the same time. So in the FDA study looking at this, there were no instances of migration. And I think that's, that's an important point. 